Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuang. Today, let's draw the body of Giganotosaurus. To display the overall image of Giganotosaurus, the side view would be better at showing its complex front half body structure as well as its slender tail. This time, we will draw a Giganotosaurus with its mouth open. Its mandible teeth were all concentrated in the front half of the mouth, which were fewer than the maxillary teeth. This is peculiar. Let's first determine the positions of the various body parts of Giganotosaurus in the picture. Next, we start with its head. Draw the tip of its nose first, then the lower margin of its upper jaw and jugal bones backward. After that, let's draw its teeth and the muscles inside the mouth. Its lower jaw was relatively square in front, and muscular at the rear. When drawing the teeth on the lower jaw, note that they were concentrated in the front half of the mouth. Then, let's outline the top of its head with dotted lines. Its eyes were relatively small. Above and below the eyes, we can draw some folds. It had rough keratinous structures on the top of its head. Next, Let's draw its nostrils, antipodal fenestra, and temporal fenestra. Above the temporal fenestra, behind the eyes, and on the lower and upper jaws, let's draw some large scales. Finally, don't forget to draw its ear. Its neck was thick, with strong muscles.
we can draw some folds on the side of the neck and some shadows below the throat moving backward Let's draw its shoulders, where many muscles were attached. Its forelimbs were relatively short, and each had three fingers. Note that its two palms were facing each other. Its back slightly bulged upward. There were thick muscles on either side of the spinal column. Its thighs were wrapped in the trunk. There were many folds at the knees. The muscles in the shanks were stout. Its ankles were full. It had three forward-facing functional toes on its foot, and a backward-facing toe off the ground. On the dorsal side of the toes and insteps, let's draw some big scales. At the back of the legs, we draw the skin connected to the tail. At the front of the legs, draw the skin connected to the belly. On the belly, we can draw some horizontal folds, indicating that the scales here are arranged horizontally. Draw some folds on the sides of its trunk as well. Next, we move on to its tail. Its tail was thicker at the base and thinner at the tip. On the side of the tail, 
let's draw its muscles in the structural lines that can show its volume. The structural lines on the lower part of the tail can be drawn denser. Lastly, let's refine the structure inside the mouth. In this way, the whole body of Giganotosaurus has been finished.